In this video, we'll look at using the memory palace alongside a visual cortex or other colorizing device. As you can see here, the memory palace is currently plugged into nothing. I have a patch running from a previous video. And I'll simply plug the RGB outputs into the RGB inputs of a visual cortex. We are now monitoring the component outputs of the visual cortex. The input in this case is basically exactly the same as what's coming out of the memory palace, but we could start to apply some of the colorizer effects to get different colors. One useful feature of the memory palace is an alternate Y output. This Y output is simply a black and white version of the entire image, and we can use this to, for example, plug into the colorize input on the visual cortex. This gives us a number of different ways to start playing with the color of the image. By adjusting the controls on the cortex, you can get a variety of different color effects. We can also take the Y output and molt it to the composite input. But before doing that, We'll send it through a passage to get a little bit more of a dynamic effect. Using an LFO from a pendulum module, we can adjust the strength of the composite signal. Playing with color controls, we can get a wide variety of effects. And again, we can go back to adjusting the width, and softness, and scanning speed of the key. Or we can turn scanning off altogether to get a little more manual control. So that's an example of how you can use the memory palace with external analog coloring tools for more flexibility.